right, if we're calculating slope, remember that slope is rise over run. And you also should know the formula y2, or the second y value, minus y1, or the first y value, over x2 minus x1. So I can label these guys, right? Here's an x and a y, an x and a y. And the twos and the ones just means the second one and the first one. So if I set this one up, I'm going to have negative 4 minus 5 over negative 3 minus 2. Mathematic negative 4 minus 5 makes negative 9. Negative 3 minus 2 makes negative 5. Now you are allowed to leave it like this. The error test does not require you to reduce anything. You could also write this as positive 9 over positive 5 because negative divided by a negative makes a positive. For number two, when it says calculate the rate of change, rate of change is just another word for slope. So this is essentially saying the same thing as the first one. So I need the first x and the first y, and here they are. They gave us way too much information, so I can just use the first two, or the last two, or the middle two, right? Whichever one you want to use. So y2, and remember that f of x and y mean the same thing. So y2, so negative 3, minus y1, negative 5, it is important you have both those negatives in there, over negative 1 minus negative 2. Minus a negative turns into a positive, so this is really negative 3 plus 5, which makes 2, over negative 1 plus 2, which makes 1. You could leave it like that, or you could say 2 over 1 is just 2, same difference. All right, as long as we have equations that are y equals, remember it's y equals mx plus b. The slope is the m value, so here the slope is negative 5. The y-intercept would be positive 2. You could do it this way, or if it's not y equals mx plus b, you could just type it straight into Desmos and look at it there, right? The y-intercept is really easy to see. The slope, you can just count rise over run. Number 4 is almost the same. It's y equals mx plus b. There's my slope. Negative 6 is my y-intercept. The last three, and on my screen, they're pretty wonky, so I'm sorry in advance. It says determine the slope and the y-intercept from the graph. The y-intercept is pretty easy to see. It's where it crosses over the y-axis, which is straight up and down one. So this guy crosses at zero, so the y-intercept is zero. The slope, I need to count rise over run. So look at here. I can see specific coordinate points where it crosses over at nice places. So my rise is 1, my run is 1. So my slope is 1 over 1. Or if you wanted to just say 1, that would be fine too. I know this one didn't ask for what is the equation, but I figure this one's an easy enough. y equals 1 over 1x plus 0, mx plus b. Right, the formatting is wonky, but here are the next two questions. So here, my y-intercept, where it crosses the x-axis, is there. So my y-intercept is 1. My slope, so remember I need to find some good crossing points. So there is a good crossing point. There is a good crossing point. I could also use the y-intercept. That would be fine. I'm going to go down 1 and over 2. So that's going to be negative 1 half, right? And down 1 over 2. You always go to the right. You're not allowed going left. If I wanted to write my equation, y equals negative 1 half x plus 1. And for my last one, Here's a point, here's a point, here's a point, here's a point. So my y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis is right here at negative 1. My slope, I am going down 2 and over 1. So that's going to be negative 2 over 1. Or if you wanted to just say negative 2, that would be fine as well. So my equation here is going to be y equals negative 2 over 1x minus 1.